Triple M rocks footy. And welcome back to it. I've got the game for you today at four o'clock. Dan will call that one for you. It's uh, Newcastle and the Tigers. And then tonight it's uh, Adam Reynolds, the mighty Adam Reynolds. We wish him all the best. Broncos up against the Doggies. Yesterday, of course, the Titans won one game in a row. So happy. So yes. proud. Hey, Toby Marine, Texton. Toby you see Texton. this four on my hat? Yeah. For how many points South could have had this year. Right. Uh-huh. Is that, that, okay. why, why are you bagging them for? Who bagging who? What, the Titans? Because they've won a game. I said they, they won one won game in a row, row mate. I mean, like, they won four games in a row. They, Tommy Tate gave them a public yeah, holiday. Mate, they've done better than your South. Yeah, but mate, it's a, it's, it's a long, long season. No well, one wins the grand final in May or whatever month it is. What did you March. think of the <laughs> What did you think of the Rabbitohs' performance Thursday night? Um, as a fan, insipid. as a fan, insipid. Yeah, um, as a fan. Come on, as a as a as a member. Yeah, as a as the number pays one every year. Yeah, uh, look. Do all those free gigs for them where they don't invoice you. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, I don't invoice them. Oh, sorry. No, I look, I'll around. just yeah. I'll just say again that it's uh it's a long year. And no one wins the grand final in March. Mm. Last time I checked, Can't no one's won that. 21 grand finals. No one's got close. Mm. Well, you, um, the, so well, I'm just saying. Old South Sydney got 20 and New South Sydney got it, one. It doesn't matter, mate. It's all history, that isn't is it? Very it's all history. No, no, it's, it's, very no, it's, it's not a very pertinent two different fact. Qualities. Qualities. Stop dodging the question. It's all history. How do you think they played? Old South they... Sydney lasted till 98. New South Sydney came back in 2001. It's, it's all history, one. mate. It's You've all history. You've won one It's call. all history. They've won 21 You're about premierships. You're behind the right? Roosters. Okay. You like Who've North, they're the not even a side it. anymore. You like North, they're not mate, even a side why anymore. Why would you bag North Sydney? This because year, I like bagging this them. Year you know why I bag them? Because every time there's talk of a new team, somehow Norths get involved yeah. and there's going to be two games at North Sydney Oval. Mate, Forget a, about it. It's do, over. Do you know it's 100 years this year since North Sydney's last premiership? Is that right? Yep. Well, there you go. You've answered Last your own question. Last year was 100 years since their first. Is that right? So they won 21 <laughs> and 22? Yeah, 19, 21, 22, and that's it. <laughs> and then they had to row home. There was no Harbour Bridge. That was it, yeah. Had to Did swim it, home. There was no Harbour Bridge when North won last yeah. one of comp. Wow. Yeah, they had to swim over. Mm. That's why they're so good. But let me, uh, so let, let me ask you this, Paul. As a, as a North Sydney Bears fan, yep. doesn't it make you – isn't it ridiculous mm. every time there's going to be a new club – Norths are going to get involved, and they're going to play two games at North Sydney Oval. I uh, like North. At least they never sold out. I don't care. Out. I wasn't talking to you. North's never sold out, though. Well, you know what they say, mate? North's fans, the war is over, and you lost. <laughs> <laughs> Time for this. From the makers of The Earth is Flat, and I'm only having one beer, comes... I call BS. Well, what about when you go into a restaurant now, as I do, if I go to the fancy joints downstairs at East Gardens, and they say, right, if you've got to order, you've got to, you've got to uh, get your QR code and order on the phone, which is stupid. And then after you've done all the ordering yourself, do you want fries with it? Do you want Coke? Do you want mm. some potatoes? Do you want some chicken wings? You've, done all, you've asked everyone. Then it says, do you want to leave a tip? Well, what am I leaving a tip for? I've done all the work. I'm calling BS on that. Yeah. And what's that stupid? And, like, what are the specials? Yeah, I know. I mean, what? I don't go there to, so I can do the work, mm. you know? Oh, I, I just think that's... Is that part of the routine diet, some of those foods that you've just listed? Oh, mate, I know what Coke to order. High, high protein. That was from Miss Portugal. Oh, okay. she's, she's, um, she's stocking up. Okay. She's stocking up. She's carbing up. She's carb loading. Yeah. What would you like to call BS, Gordon? Yeah, uh, on the Dragons Penrith game, uh, Jaden Sewer comes out to hit uh, Sean O'Sullivan. Mm. He's like, like a second late. Mm. And if you slow anything down, if you slow any tackle down in our game, it looks bad. If you slow anything, fast motion, he gets there pretty much at the same time he passes it. And I think the referees got it wrong. And more importantly, O'Sullivan lays down, right? So then he milks it. But that, that'll but stop now because that means you've got to go off. Yeah, he so, ended up yeah, getting stung yes, for yes, that. Yes, he paid he, the price because yeah. he had to go off for an HRA. So that's says. one thing they got right. But I don't know how the referees can look at that, right? Shouldn't have been 10 minutes. And it minutes. hits him in the shoulder. He actually – so apparently I get – That because yeah. of the whiplash motion. Is, I, I agree with that, Gordon, because what, what the point of – can I just yeah. interrupt here? The point is – is that halfbacks are getting braver and braver and playing into the line now because they're so protected, which makes it difficult to more difficult to defend. Yes. The way that was always discouraged was, well, mate, if you want to come into the line and play deep into yeah. the line to set up your players, then we're going to whack you. So that so basically you're calling on, if you want to, if you want to put yourself in the position and get the reward for going deep in the line halfback, then you take what comes at the other side. Some halfbacks didn't like that, so they pass early. But now what we're doing, because you're not allowed to hit them, as Gordon's point is, 
they're all going deeper and deeper into the line, which is corrupting the whole situation. Absolutely. And just to add to that, with the halfbacks, they've taken so long to kick because you're not allowed to tackle them. Mm. So when they start kicking, you're not allowed to tackle them. So there was charge down. Kick out scored one, and then there was one against mm. the Titans. I think mm. Curran comes through because they're taking so long to kick the ball now because they're so protected. So mm. I think mm. that they got that wrong. So the referees would like to have that We, we need to all adjust over back. Again. The pendulum needs to come back a little bit. Just we, a little bit. And mm. there was 14 points that Panthers scored, and the Dragons would have won that game. I like it. I call BS. What about PK or Hoops? Would you like to have a crack at this? Yeah, I'll call BS Anthony on out of the match last night. Look, he won him the game with a cracking try right on full time. Nico Hines kicked the conversion um, to actually seal the win. But Teague Wilson's uh, t- uh, what's his last name? Teague Wilton. Mitch Teague Moses. Wilton. Teague Wilton. Yeah, Teague Wilton. Yeah, <laughs> Wilson. Uh, Teague Wilton's shot on Mitch Moses. Look, of course you got to put pressure on kickers, but the game has built these rules around protecting them for a reason because we don't want to see those playmakers sustain a, a serious injury. And it's creeping back in because there was a Jimmy Tarmow shot on Sam Walker in the trials where I thought he was lucky to get away with only a one-week suspension. Teague is looking at a week on the sidelines. If he, fight it, he fights it, he risks looking at a couple. Um, but uh, the players, they, they, they just got to be careful. When kickers are in the air, they can't defend themselves and – that's where things really can go wrong. Mm. So I just thought, we spoke to Fitzy earlier, Craig Fitzgibbon, the Cronulla coach, and he pointed out that you've you got to put pressure on your kickers, but you've also got to get your timing right. 